Hey guys, welcome to uh, this video today. I'm going to be walking you through step one of um, pulling a Holland model, <clears throat> 18 wheels of steel, out of uh, PMD through uh, Z Modeler 2, and then um, show you what you need to do to export that appropriately. Um, in order to begin the process. Very important what you do in Z Modeler 2 to um, streamline the rest of the process. Otherwise, it's going to be a long, hard battle uh, get everything, getting everything to work right. So, let's um, just find something to open here. Excuse the unpreparedness. So let's see. So for example, I've already done this, but um, the I found a Pete three seventy seven. As you can see, I've already exported it to OBJ, but I will show you what to do in Zmod. Alright, so like I was saying, this is like super important to... Um, to how well you succeed in the end. Um, otherwise, it's even more work at the end if you don't do what I'm going to show you what you need to do right now. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into... Um, what did I say? That was a P, right? So, P 377. And to get to the truck itself, I'm going to import it into Zmod. All right, so this was the, what the truck lo truck looks like for Holland. Um, this is the hierarchy of the specific models and their um, identities for the game to understand. Now, if I open this, you'll notice here there are checkboxes with nothing. It's a model in here, but it's not marked. It's not marked like it is in Blender. It didn't have to be, uh, so there was no reason to do it. Um, so everything that you can see here, except for the collision, you don't need collision. Uh, delete. Okay, so everything here uh, it needs to have a unique name. Um, and unique name means not like another name, obviously. So what I do is I go A1, A2, A3, A4, and so on. All the way through the alphabet until I have to do AA, BB, you know, etc. Um, the other thing that you have to do is I'll show you real quick here. Like the flares don't matter much, but you still need to do this. Unlink children. So there can't be a hierarchy. Otherwise, every model that's under this heading will just go to that heading, no matter if you name it or not. So if you put, you know, A4 right here, you're still going to have flare zero in the game because that's what... Um, or in Blender, excuse me, the OBJ, that's what you 
you know you didn't unlink it so it's not its own independent model so that is something you need to take care of um, right off the bat now occasionally there we go and CMOD gets very upset when you start unlinking children so now you'll notice all of these are on top level now whereas before P385 was just the top level so now we got all these down here there's no flare anymore linking unlink Okay, that's it for that. And my children. Now we get the big one here. This has got a lot of stuff in it. Not as not as much as others, but and unlink that. Some of these trucks, it'll, it'll take upwards of five to ten minutes to unlink children. Um, so don't don't get too frustrated. Don't think it's not working. It's just taking a while. Um, it's not exactly super fast at doing these things. So I mean, again, it depends on your computer and your processor and all that stuff. So um, just be wary of that. Um, so basically, the the object of this is to create an OBJ that you can export from Zmod that you can now use in, in Blender. And once you get it into Blender, um, as an OBJ, you can then start assigning it um, materials from another truck, um, which I will show you in a minute, as soon as this is done. Um, but anyway, that is the tutorial of this basically unlink children um, and then everything needs to have a unique name you can get rid of all the flares the the hook the you know any of the headlight flares any of the side flares the um, the particle system that don't need that doesn't matter um, so at the end, there we go. So then we unlink these. Alright, so now everything is top level. Alright, so here's the ones I renamed. Everything that's blank, you need to name. You need to put a unique name in there. And you can name it anything you want, but it's it gets complicated trying to remember what you did and didn't name and so on. Um, so once you do this, now you can go here, export. Um, I don't optimize and I use materials if there are materials included it will give you an idea of what that part is supposed to look like if you don't know in OBJ format so you know it might say chrome or um, you know truck paint or something like that that's all you gotta do that is this step step one taking a 18 wheels of steel Holland model, getting it into Zmod 2, exporting it as an OBJ. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you again soon.